All right. Good Saturday, DeFi Nation. Good Saturday, Energy Community. It is, we're going to have a fantastic presentation today. Guys, if you're out there watching on Facebook, you want to get on this Zoom. Are you going to get on this Zoom? Whatever video you're watching, go in the comments and there is a link to this Zoom. And uh, get your butts on here because you're going to have a, we're going to have a great time. Man, a lot, a lot is going on in the energy community and uh, things are progressing nicely. How'd you guys like that opening music during the timer? That opening music during the timer, guys, that's the first band that we talked to about being on the Music Builder DAP, about being on the Music Builder DAP. And you're going to learn a little bit more about that later on. But uh, I want to get into it. My name's Dwayne. Guys, I reside in Kansas. My corporate offices are here uh, in Kansas, out in the middle of nowhere, right? Smack dab in the middle of the USA. And I'm going to tell you about energy. I'm going to tell you about DeFi. I'm going to tell you how you can earn from staking, how you can profit from this coin, how you can earn by helping grow the community. You're going to learn all those things today. But I want to begin by telling you about DeFi if you haven't heard about DeFi. DeFi, 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 DeFi. What is DeFi? DeFi stands for Decentralized Finance. It's really a play on words, D-E-F-I, D-E-F-I. It's a play on words because we're defying the centralized banking system that has held people down for way too long. And guys, DeFi is really changing the world. You know, experts predict that the DeFi market could be the biggest market we literally see in in a millennia. It is that big in 10 lifetimes. Um, and you think about some of the markets we've seen, you've, we've seen the dot-com era. They're saying DeFi could be much, much bigger than that. And not by just a little bit, but by massively bigger. And, you know, what is DeFi? Well, DeFi, instead of the banks providing the liquidity, the centralized banking system, it is the community of people that provide the liquidity. You know, I've, I've said I've, I've said it a million times over and I'll say it again. You know, crypto was the first nail in the coffin for, for banks. Why? Because it allowed people to be their own bank. But I'm here to tell you, DeFi, I fully believe, will be the final nail in the coffin for the centralized banking system. Because DeFi opens up the doors for people all over the world. You know, people used to, people still needed banks. They still needed to ca get car loans, home loans, real estate loans, but DeFi is changing that. And I truly believe that DeFi, decentralized finance will be the final nail in the coffin for the centralized banking system. So you're going to hear about DeFi a lot over the coming years. It will be the biggest growing industry by leaps and bounds. So let's get into it. Let me go ahead and share my screen here, guys. So I want to tell you how DeFi, I want to explain to you real briefly how DeFi works, how it's different than the centralized banking, than the model that we're, we're used to, per se. And you're going to see me, it's going to look why I'm giving you a presentation that I'm looking off over here. It's because I have multiple monitors on my, my yeah, set up on my desk. So I'm looking at my monitor over here. Um, guys, what's cool about DeFi? is it's a, it's a lot easier to understand than the current model, believe it or not. The current model, it doesn't matter what market it is. It can be cryptocurrency, it could be stocks, it could be commodities, it could be Forex. They all operate the same way. It's all done purely on speculation and what's called a bid and an ask. You've got these people in the green that are wanting to buy and you've got these people in the red that are wanting to sell. And this guy says, I want to buy for $1.32.6. This guy says, no, nope, I want to sell for $1.34. And somehow they meet in the metal and the market moves. Either the sellers come down and they sell to the buyers or the buyers come up and they buy from the sellers. Okay, it's that simple. And the market moves. This is what, this is what we've known all our lives. Well, DeFi is changing that model. And believe it or not, it's easier to understand than the centralized banking system. So let me go over here to energy. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh my screen. I wanna get the most accurate price. If we look at the price of energy right now, guys, as we speak, it's $492. 
Energy is $492 a coin. And you'll understand why here soon. And guys, we believe that we could see this coin go into the thousands, on into the tens of thousands, and even beyond that. And you'll understand why here in just a few minutes. So the way that the decentralized DeFi system works, I explain it like a cookie jar, okay? Think of this as a cookie jar. You've got a supply of coins and you've got a supply of dollars. And energy does pair against the USDC coin, the US dollar coin. A lot of coins will pair against Ethereum. But the reason that we use USDC is because when the, when the crypto market is coming down, during those times it comes down, it, it doesn't affect energy. A lot of times you'll see the whole crypto market on those days it's coming down. It'll come down and energy will be zipping up the charts. So we do pair with the US dollar coin. Now, I want you to understand, in DeFi, you don't, you don't log in, you don't create an account, you don't log in, you don't, you don't do any of that. You don't give up your privacy. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing, the way DeFi works. All you do is you simply connect your wallet. You connect your wallet. Oh, most people will use MetaMask. MetaMask is free to get, takes just a few minutes if you don't have MetaMask, but you just simply connect your wallet to the decentralized exchange. And from your wallet, let's say you wanna buy coins. You reach in that cookie jar, you pull out coins directly into your wallet and you put in dollars. And for doing this, you've just increased the amount of dollars and decreased the supply of coins, which causes the price to go up. If you sell, it is the opposite way. So if you sell, you're reaching in that cookie jar, you're pulling out dollars right into your wallet and you're putting in coins into the cookie jar. And for doing that, you've just decreased the amount of dollars and increased the supply. And of course the price goes down when that happens. So this is how the market moves. It's a lot easier to understand than, this, than the, the, the current model that we have, isn't it guys? So it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing, the way DeFi works. It's the community, the community that basically uh, supplies the liquidity in, 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 uh, in a DeFi model. And guys, energy really is, the way I like to describe it, it's almost like a decentralized bank that is owned by you guys, by the community. It's a decent, think about this. This is a decentralized bank that's owned by the community. And people are swapping dollars for energy in order to make cash flow, which you'll understand here in a second. And they're taking and they're supplying their energy and, and pulling back out dollars when they wanna sell. So you get this constant revol you know, revolving structure People are swapping coins for dollars and dollars for coins. It's, it's, uh, it's a beautiful thing. And what supplies the sustainability of this decentralized bank, quote unquote, is that the revenues from our dApps that we're creating, and you're going to learn about those here in just a second. So what exactly is energy? What is its purpose in the market? Energy is really the app store of DeFi, okay? Or what we call the DAP store, decentralized applications is what it stands for, decentralized applications. And we fully believe, guys, that energy will be the Bitcoin of DeFi. And you're going to understand why here in a second, probably even better than the Bitcoin of DeFi. What are DAPs? DApps are decentralized applications. If you've ever picked up, if you pick up your phone, right? Your iPhone, your Android, and you go to the app store, the Android store, you're gonna see all these different apps. You're gonna see apps for games. You're gonna see apps for health and fitness. You're gonna see apps that are financial apps like Webull and Robinhood. You're gonna see apps that are for shopping, right? Merchandise that you can, can order. So you've got all these different apps. And apps are really, they're like a, they're a business basically, but they're a decentralized business. They're what's called a decentralized application. And they have a lot of purpose. People are wanting to decentralize now more than ever. Why? 
because they're sick of being censored by the, the centralized system. I'll give you a perfect example. Many of you guys heard a few months ago of a social media platform called Parler, right? A lot of people are going over Parler, and I'm not here to debate the, the political side of things. But Parler, if you remember right, they got shut down. They basically got their business taken away from them because they were plugged into a centralized server. And the minute that Amazon and the App Store and the Android Store pulled the plug, their business was gone. Well, if they were decentralized, they would have never, ever, ever had that issue. So decentralization is a beautiful thing from so many components, from the component of people not having to give up their privacy to the component of not having to worry about being held down by any centralized authority. And so a lot of businesses are going to what's called dApps. They're converting their businesses to dApps, decentralized applications that generate revenue. And energy is basically the, the form of medium. It's the way payment is made. And so the way energy is set up is that when an ADAP is created, 80% of the revenues go to the owner of the DAP, 20% go to the energy stakeholders. So not only do they, when they launch a DAP upon the energy platform, not only are they able to decentralize their business, but they're able to tap in to the energy community as we grow and grow and grow and grow. And so there's a tremendous tremendous value in staking coins. Why? If you stake at least 25, if you have 25 or more staked, you get a share in the DAP revenues. Also, energy is currently minting right now. Okay. It mints for a period of 100 weeks total. And right now we are in week 11 of 100. So in addition to being able to share in the DAP revenue, you are able to also share in the minting. Now, I'm going to I'm going to stop the share here for a second cuz I want to get I want you guys to turn on your cameras and I want to get a show of hands. I want you guys to realize just how powerful this is. I don't think a lot of people realize what energy is truly becoming. How many turn on your cameras? I want to get a show of hands. How many of you guys have heard of a of a business called Berkshire Hathaway. Let's get a show of hands. Who's heard of Berkshire Hathaway? All right, we see a lot of hands. Berkshire Hathaway, Berkshire Hathaway, Berkshire Hathaway. What is, who is Berkshire Hathaway? Berkshire Hathaway is basically a in, famous investors company. He owns the majority of the shares. And that guy's name is Warren Buffett. Maybe perhaps you guys have heard of him. Guys, I, have, I really admire the guy. I, I'm not, I know that some people say, well, he's against cryptocurrency or his political position. All things, setting all that aside, you got a man that's been so humble. Think about this, Warren Buffett. You don't see the guy flash Lambos and Ferraris or mansions or anything in front of your face. He's just a humble guy that goes about his business. You know that guy still lives in his same house that he lived in before he made it big in Omaha, Nebraska? Now he's upgraded it since then, but he still lives in the same street in the same ordinary neighborhood. Talk about being a humble guy. Not only that, you know, his businesses that he owns, every one of those businesses are notorious for paying their people well. They pay their people well. And, you know, I'm a firm believer that how a, how a business treats their employees is a direct reflection of how they treat their customers. So whether you love him or you hate him for his political position or his view on cryptocurrency, you got to admire that the guy's a humble guy, right? You got to admire he's a humble guy that treats his employees well. Now, he's created this juggernaut, juggernaut of a business called Berkshire Hathaway. And I want to show you what Berkshire Hathaway exactly is. For those of you who may have heard of it, but you don't understand what Berkshire Hathaway is, because in a way, it'll start clicking and you'll say, oh my gosh. Is energy a decentralized Berkshire Hathaway in the making? So you're going to see some reflection here. 
And we're going to talk about some of our dApps that are coming up on the energy platform. We already have some of those dApps out right now. So let me go ahead and share my screen. And I want to go over here. Berkshire Hathaway, they own equity in a number of different businesses. They own a good chunk of a number of different businesses. Just some of the businesses to name a few. They have bank, they own a chunk of Bank America, of Apple, of Coca-Cola, of Kraft Heinz, of American Express, Verizon, US Bank Corp, General Motors, Bank of New York Mellon, Wells Fargo, just to name a few. And in fact, if you want to go look at every single company that Berkshire Hathaway has an interest in, just go, go, go Wikipedia. And I probably could refresh it. I know it changes all the time because they're constantly making moves. Uh, you know, they're notorious for, they keep adding to their portfolio. But if we look at uh, some of these businesses on here, I mean, businesses you recognize, Dairy Queen. Um, I know Kirby Vacuum Cleaners. Many of you guys have one of those vacuum sales guys in your, your home. I know they own a pretty good chunk of that. Uh, that's one of their companies. Hellsberg Diamonds. Uh, <laughs> just go down with Nebraska Furniture Mart. Uh, are any of these ringing a bell? Pampered Chef, they're a networking company. Um, man, the list just goes on and on and on and on. This is a list of Berkshire Hathaway's holdings. Visa, MasterCard, Vanguard. I mean, come on, get out of town. <laughs> this is a, uh, this is this is unbelievable. Now, the question is. And I, I want I want to see the chat. I want I want to get you guys interactive. If you heard if you heard me go over this on Thursday, please don't put in the chat. But if you if you didn't, I want you to put in the chat. Okay. How much do you think Berkshire Hathaway is per share right now? Just take a guess. In the chat, take a guess. How much do you guys think? What do you think is the price of Berkshire Hathaway? I got to see some people guessing in the chat. Take a take out take a wild guess. Come on, guys. We got to get some interaction. All right, we got some coming in. 150k in the billions. Well, their market cap. How much do you think each share is worth? That's the question. How much do you think every single share per share, not every single share, but how much do you think Berkshire Hathaway is worth per share? $6,000 uh, we got some good good things. Ten thousand dollars. Got some some good comments coming in. All right, let me go ahead and let me turn my screen share back on because you're gonna we're gonna one hundred eighty five dollars, twelve thousand. We got all all different ones across the board. One hundred fifty k. Well, let me go ahead. You guys are gonna be surprised. Berkshire Hathaway is worth a whopping. Four hundred and thirty-seven thousand dollars a share. Let me make sure I'm sharing the right screen too. Berkshire Hathaway is worth a whopping four hundred thirty-seven thousand dollars a share. Pretty incredible, isn't it, guys? But you know, and, and if you look at their charts, let me just pull up their charts. You're going to see that Berkshire Hathaway is just consistently just went up the chart and has just been rocketing up. Started out back in the 1980s, you could have got it for about 500 to 1,000 a share. In the 1990s, you could have got it for around 5 to 10,000 a share. In the 2000s, you could have got it for around 50 to 100K a share. And today, it's worth a whopping $437,000 a share. Pretty incredible. But let me show you what's even more incredible. What's even more incredible is the number of shares in circulation. The number of shares in circulation right now for Berkshire Hathaway is 1.52 million, one and a half million shares in circulation. Why is that important? Because how many, it's a very limited supply, obviously. How many, how many coins does energy have? And although they're not the same, right? Berkshire Hathaway, it, 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 they're, they're different. There's a lot of similarities here in the fact that 
energy. We have all these decentralized apps, dApps that are basically um, 20% of all those dApps are feeding into this decentralized bank per se that's owned by the community. And you see where I'm starting to go. If every, right now, there are 100,000 energy shares in circulation. When the minting is complete, the maximum amount of shares that you could ever see is under 4.4 million. And quite frankly, it won't even be that high because there is a 7.5% burn rate when people unstake, which lowers the supply. And not every single coin is going to get minted into circulation per se. So you got to take these into account. I believe that once energy is done minting, you'll probably see the supply be somewhere around two, two to three million energy coins. It's it, guys, it's extremely limited. There's a reason that I show you this one point one and a half million shares that Berkshire Hathaway has and how they started out right about the same price that energy is right now, right? You look back here. They started out with it, 385, energy is right around $492 a coin. So they started out right around the same price as energy. Now, why is this important? I want you guys to understand something. Essentially what you've got with energy, you've got this liquidity pool that's on Uniswap, okay? You've got this liquidity pool. And in that liquidity pool, you've got people that are swapping coins for dollars and dollars for coins. Very similar to a Berkshire Hathaway share per se. And basically what's happening is you have all these different dApps that are outside, outside of energy. All these different dApps that are on the energy ecosystem that are all feeding this decentralized bank that's owned by the community. All these different dApps, decentralized businesses per se, are feeding this decentralized bank that's owned by the community. There's no centralized cut to this. This is why this is so powerful, so powerful with what we have. Now, I'm gonna tell you what makes energy so powerful. I think you're starting to see this start to come together. We are, 400 and still $492 a coin, almost 493. There's some components though about this coin that makes it so unique to the crypto community. Not only is it, does it enable people to make that cash flow, that piece of their pie per se, that ownership in that decentralized bank that's owned by the community, there's a lot of other important aspects about energy that you may not even realize. So I'm gonna go over here to my slides and uh, I wanna tell you about it, about, about energy and what makes it so special. Now, there is no company, I want you guys to understand, there's no company behind energy. Energy is not a company. Energy is owned by the community of people. This is all true smart contract based technology. So let's talk about the first point of energy. What do I mean that it's owned by the, the, the community of people? Guys, this is the world's first true DeFi coin. Yes, there were people that created the coin. But when we deployed that coin and we deployed the smart contract, we relinquished all control and gave it to the community. Guys, this coin has no developer fees. There is no pre-mined supply that someone keeps in their back pocket. And there were no influencer fees. No coins were given out to some big influencer or an airdrop that can be, can be dropped on the market. This was designed the exact same way the Satoshi Nakamoto designed Bitcoin. You see, the only advantage that Satoshi had when he created Bitcoin is that he was the first to get to own Bitcoin. It's the same way with this coin. The creators of, of energy and also the early adopters, they were the first to own the coin. They have a vested interest in growing 
this energy community because it makes what they hold that much more valuable. Just like Satoshi has a vested interest in growing Bitcoin because it makes the piece that he holds that much more valuable. But this coin was deployed completely fairly. It was completely deployed completely fair and honest. And so the crypto community really likes that. That's the first thing about this coin. The second thing about this coin is that this is the first DeFi coin with an elastic supply. What do I mean by that? Well, you've got all these other DeFi coins, right? That you can stake, quote unquote. You can stake them and they produce a reward. But a lot of these DeFi coins are really producing what I call a BS reward. Why? Because they're constantly just producing this reward. And if there's no liquidity coming into the coin, guess what? They're really just devaluing their coin. They're really just inflating their coin. And in the end, that'll eventually catch up to them. What makes energy so valuable is that during the minting process, energy only produces a reward when new liquidity comes into the market maker staking contract. It will only produce a reward when new liquidity comes into the coin. That is huge. And so sometimes, you know, the reward is going to fluctuate during the week. And if somebody says, well, why are the rewards a little lower? And this DeFi coin over here is paying out all oh, these enormous rewards. Well, now, you know, they're really just producing this reward that looks good on paper, right? But in the end, it eventually catch up with them because they're, they're, they're inflating their coin. Energy does not create new supply unless new liquidity comes in the coin. And that is huge, guys. Interestingly enough, even if every single coin was minted into existence, there would still be less than 4.4 million. Energy is also the first coin where every single coin holder is a liquidity provider. Everybody has skin in the game. Everybody owns a piece of that decentralized bank. Even the creators of the coin, when it was deployed, they had to put up their own money to go buy the coin. We had to put up our own money to go buy that 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 coin, guys. So every single person that holds energy has, has dollars that they've put into the liquidity pool, into the decentralized bank, quote unquote. Why is that important? Well, take Bitcoin, for instance. Nobody knows the real liquidity behind Bitcoin. 58,000, whatever it's trading at this morning. I haven't even had time to look. Guys, that's just the price that somebody's willing to pay right now. It's all trade on, traded on speculation. If there's nobody willing to give that price, guess what? The price comes down, right? That's the centralized market. It's all based on speculation. When you're dealing in DeFi, you're not dependent on somebody willing to pay that price because it's all based on the liquidity pool of the decentralized bank per se. And what feeds it is you've got all these different dApps that are dumping, uh, that are dumping uh, their, their revenues from the dApps. 20% of those dApps go in, in here. And now you've got people wanting the coin because it's producing cash flow and a reward for them. So let's go on. The next point, and this is probably one of my favorite guys. This is... This is energy is truly, truly, truly 100% decentralized. There's a lot of DeFi coins, but if you look, they have a domain, they are, they're registered, uh, their domain name is registered with somebody like a GoDaddy. They're hosted on a centralized server. Energy I, is what a lot of people rec uh, refer to as hardcore decentralization. Why? Because energy is not hosted on a centralized server. It doesn't even have a domain name registered to, to a centralized company like a GoDaddy. Energy was deployed on what's called the IPFS. It stands for Interplanetary File System. It's basically peer-to-peer -peer data storage. So the data for energy can be pulled from multiple different places, not just from a centralized server, but from multiple different places. And not only that, it's extremely secure. It is lightning fast. 
And for that very reason that it was deployed on the IPFS, it is totally unstoppable. The minute we deployed energy, the smart contract and relinquished all control and put it on the IPFS, it took a mind of its own. It is completely unstoppable. There's no centralized plug that can be pulled on energy. And, and the, of course, the crypto community really, really likes that. And the last thing about energy. When you come aboard energy, you are not giving your money to a company. I cannot stress this enough. I see you see all those other companies out there, right? You're not giving your money to a company. So throw that whole concept out, out the window. Um, when you're dealing with energy, uh, your money is going into the liquidity pool, the decentralized bank, quote unquote, via a smart contract. And you have full access to your funds. You can remove it at any time based on whatever the current value is, but you have full 100% control of your own, own funds. Nobody has access to your money. What, why, this is, why this is so important, guys, and this is probably the biggest point about energy. This is what makes it so powerful. Guys, there's no need to give up any of your privacy anymore. You don't have to create an account. You don't have to log in. You don't have to do those things. You don't have to request a withdrawal. You are not at the mercy of any company, any centralized exchange, or any world government. Let me say that again, because I want you to understand how powerful that is. You are not at the, the mercy of any company, any centralized exchange, or any world government. So guys, people will flock to this. They already are. We have the potential to make a lot of money very quickly. My question to you is, are you ready to change your life? And are you ready to get energized? Now, a lot of people say, well, show me, show me a little bit about, you know, uh, the, the revenues, the, the potential for those revenues. So I want to give you guys an example. Now, I want to stress that this is for example purposes only. It is no way, in no way to be construed as a guarantee. But much like the businesses for Berkshire Hathaway generate income that makes Berkshire Hathaway worth 435,000 a share, as dApps are deployed upon the energy ecosystem, it just makes energy more and more and more valuable. So I just wanna give you a little scenario of what's possible with energy. Let's say, let's say all the different dApps generated $10 million a day in revenue, okay? All these different dApps upon the platform. And you're going to learn about some of them here, here shortly. And you're going to learn because I'm going to, Alan's going to tell you about some of these dApps uh, that are coming. You're going to learn that the potential far exceeds the, you know, what I'm even showing you guys right now. But let's say the dApps were to generate $10 million uh, a day, okay, between all these different uh, decentralized applications. 20% of that would be shared with the energy stakeholders who hold at least 25 or more coins. So 20% 20, 20 of 10 million guys would be $2 million. If we take 2 million, you got to divide it amongst everybody who has at least 25 coins. There's not a lot of people who can hold 25 energy coins, just like there's not a lot of people who can hold shares of Berkshire Hathaway. Not necessarily because of the price, but because of the supply. It is very limited in supply. So right now, guys, there's about a little over 125 people that have 25 coins or more in staking in energy. Let's say that number was to grow to 1,000. Guys, a thousand dollars, a thousand people, two million divided by a thousand is two thousand per day cash flow. Let's say the numbers grow. Let's say this number grows to to a hundred million instead. And let's say there's ten thousand people who have who have twenty five or more coins staked. Guys, the numbers still come out the same. It still come out to about two thousand per day cash flow. Let's 
Let's say that it doesn't even hit that. Let's say it's $500 a day cash flow for 25 coins. I think you guys see where I'm going with this. Let's say the revenues get to be much greater than that. Let's say the revenues are, are half a billion a day, whatever they may be. And you know the, there may be uh, 25,000 people or 30,000 people that have 25 or more energy staked in their, their wallet. You guys can start seeing the potential. Like I said, not a lot of people can get 25 coin stake, not necessarily because of the price, but because of the supply. And the price will have a lot to do with it too in the future as the price goes up. Imagine trying to stake uh, 25, 25 uh, shares of Berkshire Hathaway in that example, you know, $435,000 a share. But uh, guys, let's say we were to generate $2,000 per day. 2,000 per day times 365 days a year, that equals $730,000, $730,000. Now guys, if 25 energy were to generate $730,000 a year, how much do you think the value of one energy would be? So you can't just divide that by 25. You've got to take that times a multiple Traditional business standards are 26, you take it times 26, but let's just say, say you take it times 10. Say you take it times 10. So if we took that times 10, that's 7,300,000. And if we divide $7 million by, let me pull up my calculator. If we divide $7 million by 25 coins, that put the value of energy at about $280,000 a coin. And do you see where we're going with this? You see how energy, although it's not the same, similar in concept, could be a Berkshire Hathaway, a decentralized, a decentralized, even more powerful Berkshire Hathaway in the making. See, that's the power of what we have. The energy coin is going to produce revenues for those people that are staking and those, those, uh, those revenues depend on how much comes in from all the different dApps and it feeds, again, it feeds into that decentralized bank, quote unquote, that's owned by the community. It feeds into that liquidity pool. And so you're at the beginning of something very, 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 very special. And I'm here to tell you today, do not, do not let the opportunity pass you by. Because a lot of people have asked, well, they look at energy like they look at a lot of their coins. It's $500 a coin. How much more can it go up? Guys, I'm here to tell you, energy is much different than any other coin. Much, much, much different. So what I'm going to do is, what, you, how, what can you do to get involved with energy? Well, to get involved with energy, guys, we released our first DAP, and it's called Community Builder. Community Builder is a DAP where you connect your MetaMask wallet to it. And if you need help, maybe you're saying, I want to I get involved with energy. Even if you've never been in crypto before, reach out to us. We can help you get involved. But what's really cool about this, this DAP is it connects to your MetaMask wallet. All you do is hit the connect button. OK, the connect button, how easy it is to to stake energy. So if you want to stake energy, you want to get, get involved, you want to participate in the minting of the coin. You want to make it your goal to eventually have 25 energy or more stake. All you do is you simply connect your MetaMask wallet. You can stake with either energy, Ethereum or USDC coin. Guys, you can unstake at any time. A lot of people say, am I locked in for 100, 100 weeks? And the answer is no, you're not locked in for a hundred weeks. You can pull your you can you can pull your energy out of staking at any time. There is a seven and a half percent burn fee when you do so. Okay. That prevents people from jumping in and out of staking. It also makes energy more valuable, but you can pull it out of staking at any time. Your numbers will show up here in the boxes once you stake. 
you're going to get a reward each week. The reward closes out on Saturdays today, this afternoon, Eastern time. So if you want to get involved stake in energy, my suggestion is do it before 5 p.m. Eastern time today. Because if you do, you get you get a you get to earn all this week's rewards. It's just like if you signed up last Sunday. So as long as you're in before 5 p.m. Saturday, 5 p.m. Eastern time, you get a share in all of this week's rewards. Now, I want to let you guys know something really important. Okay. When you stake energy, you get 75% of your value. So you have a choice. You can go buy energy from the market, you own 100%. Or you stake it, you get 75%. And a lot of people say, well, why am I giving up 25% to stake? Why don't I just go own the coin? The reason is, is because 25% goes to community builders for helping grow the community. And you are now a community builder. The advantage though of staking, here's the reason you want to stake. Because through staking, you're able to multiply your coin through the minting of the coin. And you're also able to share in the DAP revenues. If you just own the coin, you're not going to multiply and you're not going to be able to share in the DAP revenues. So a lot of people say, oh my gosh, that makes a lot of sense. I want to stake coins. Not only that, that 25% that's going to the community builders, it's almost like an advertising cost, right? What's it doing? It's rewarding the community for, for people for growing the community, which makes what you hold that much more valuable. So I tell people, don't, don't fret about that. It's actually helping the value of what you hold because as the community grows, energy becomes much more valuable. And you can always see this, the, the price up in the corner of the screen. And you can also see the circulating supply up here as well. You can see it's a little over 100,000 right now, the circulating supply. So what happens is, is once you make your stake, you get this link. It shows up right here. You can copy and paste it and you can share it with others. They don't have to create an account either. They don't have to log in. They just connect their wallet just like you did. It connects to your wallet. It's linked to your wallet, not linked to you as an individual. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And remember that 25% that goes to community builders? There is no centralized cut out of that. Now, when you invite others who stake energy, you get 15% of the energy they stake. And if they invite other people, you get 10% of the energy those people stake. It pays two tiers, two tiers only. So 15 plus 10, that's a total of 25%, okay? No centralized cut, 100% is going back to community builders. You invite somebody who stakes 100 energy, 15%, you would make 15 energy. They invite somebody who stakes 100 energy, 10% of that would be 10 energy. You would make 10 energy. And here's the best part of it all. That those funds, you don't have to request a withdrawal to get them. Those funds are instantaneously, boom, paid right into your MetaMask wallet. Instantaneously paid into your MetaMask wallet. And you have full access to them right away. You could take those energy, you can stake them, or you could take them and you can swap them for dollars. It's your choice but those energy are paid directly into your MetaMask wallet. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this recording here at, uh, at this time so we have a clean record.